Hello everybody, Jose Rodriguez here. It is December 30th in Friday evening. We had our grandson over for a sleepover for the last couple of days and so I haven't been able to do anything new. So I had to pay attention to my boy and it's been fun. I had to return him back to his parents. Oh well, that's life. Anyway, I wanted to give you a little bit of a history lesson, so to speak, and tell you about some new developments that are coming down the pike. In fact, a couple of them are already here. As you guys know, if you have been printing for 10, 15 years, you know that back then, printer cartridges did not have chips. And if they were at all refillable, you could just refill them with whatever ink you so pleased, as long as it was compatible with the printer and the printhead, you were good to go. The cards would register as full and you would be good to go and no problems. But then, of course, inks started to become so expensive and the third party industry for inks and cartridges began to flourish because of that very reason. People were just, you know, refusing to pay that kind of money for ink and cartridges. So the third party industry began to flourish. All of this... Uh, flood of third-party carts and inks started coming in. People started to rebel against OEM inks and carts. And so fast forward to now, printer companies are making it very, very difficult for anyone to actually defeat their new smart chips that they are introducing on these cartridges and some of the firmwares that are installed in these printers, which makes it nearly impossible to, to uh, breach. There are ways, there's always ways, but it makes it so difficult that a third party company may think twice about getting involved with the development and the, and the research required and just experimenting, experimenting to come up with the correct code to be something like the Canon Pro 1 okay or the canon pro 1000 the ipf pro 1000 or say for instance the p800 from epson it's right now uh in limbo i have something coming in in a couple of weeks hopefully and i will report on that whether it's a success or failure but now epson a while ago in fact probably about a year and a half ago decided <clears throat> If you can't beat them, join them. So they actually designed a home type printer, not an all-in-one, but a regular letter size or A4 type printer that had built-in constant ink supply type system, like a SIS. And so you would buy bottles of very cheap ink they would have a serial number to, which you would enter in the printer driver in your computer and then pour that ink into these uh, containers that are built in part of the printer and you would be good to go. Unfortunately, the inks that were being sold along with these printers for Epson, so this is the L series. Look them up. They were originally available only in foreign countries like the Far East and they're slowly making their way to the West. But the ink is horrible. So, you know, they're giving you super cheap ink. You're paying like maybe $12, $15 for a bottle of ink. It's about, you know, I don't know how much they give you, but enough to fill one of these containers and you're good to go. So they're allowing you to just buy relatively low cost ink, still their ink, and you need their serial number to be able to get through. Although there are ways to defeat that. Now, Canon decided to join in and the latest, in fact, I just received this, Canon launches a new PIXMA printer with refillable ink tanks. It is the Canon PIXMA G series printers. Look them up. I'm not going to get into a lot of the details. Basically, you buy a bottle of ink and you feed this um, built-in container. Let me see if I can blow this up so you can see what I'm talking about. You can see the little yellow magenta cyan containers there and then black is held over here. Black is pigment based and the three basic colors are dye based. About 18, let's see, 
current Canon P40. Oh, yeah. So it's making a comparison what a current Canon PG40 black cartridge costs about $18. So imagine. And uh, only prints about 326 pages of black. In other words, text. Whereas this uh, equivalent bottle of ink that you buy will print 6,000 pages for about $18, the same price. So, so our Pixma G series printer models offer smart design inside and out, expanding the line of Pixma printers with the added benefit of a built-in refillable tank system. Highlights Canon's commitment to continuing to enhance the printing experience in businesses and in the home with genuine Canon print reliability. The Pixma G series printers are available today with the Pixma G1200 Mega Tank single function printer available for $250, $249.99. And the Pixma G2200 Mega Tank all in one printer. I hope that means it's got a scanner as well. $269. And it has wireless. Okay, so the 4200 is $400. So as you can see, these are not cheap printers. They're not giving them away. So what they believe is happening is that you will be willing to pay a lot more for a unit, unlike the present scenario, which is you get the unit practically for free after a rebate, and then you pay through the nose for ink. So they're going about it a slightly different way, and hopefully this will succeed. And... Um, we will be able to obtain better printers for your home use, not necessarily for photo printing, although you can probably print semi-decent photos with it, but it's not really designed for photos because of the black pigment ink. I don't know if it's photo black or if it's matte black. So we do not know that, but that is pretty cool. And uh, hopefully the inks that they are selling at these ridiculously low prices are indeed good quality similar to the ones on the expensive cartridges and the giveaway printers all right so that is it i hope you guys get excited about this i am a bit of a cynic you know i don't see this happening to any of the printers that i'm interested in specifically photo printers that's what i am into and i don't think i will ever see that i told someone that if they had a head of a non-grayed hair left that their hair would grow gray before any of this would ever come down and you know they would give us pro level photo printers with refillable built-in tanks that's not ever going to happen i don't believe so that is it i hope you found this interesting look this up it's uh, just google it you'll see it and you can get the details as to what it's available. Epson, again, has one line, and now Canon is offering a second line so that that will help those of you who just have a small home office and want some cheap printing costs. You will pay a lot more for the unit, but you will pay very low cost for the ink. Now, I believe that there's also another Epson line, EcoPrint, I think it's called, and uh, yeah, it's the same basic system. I think it's the same thing as the L series, but the ones that are intended to uh, be shipped to the United States and the uh, rest of the Western world. All right, so that sounds good to me, regardless. I promised you that Nathan was gonna say Happy New Year to you guys, but he went home before we had a chance to uh, do so. We had to go out and then when he came back, he was so beat, he had to take a nap before we delivered him back home. All right, so then I'll just leave you with my farewell. Please subscribe, please share and like it. Until the next time, happy printing, everybody. Bye-bye.